How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and welcome to my video game pickups. I don't know what to categorize this as because I got stuff here that goes all the way back to August. So um, how about let's just go with my video game pickups for the second half of 2023. And uh, before I start, I wanted to um, ask something of you guys. So I posted this on Twitter already asking for people's opinions and already a lot of people over there said yes, but I want to ask you guys here. Um, so I have, I, I collect a lot more than just video games and one thing kind of uh, in the same category as video games is physical movies. I love collecting movies. So I was wondering if going forward in the future, if you guys would like to see me uh, show off my movie pickups with my video games. It would be in a completely separate category of the video, so if you don't want it, you could just skip it, or i put it at the end and you could just stop watching the video at that point. But anyway, so is that something that you're interested in? Let me know if, I, if you're interested in watching me um, show off my movie pickups in the future. You know, Blu-rays, 4Ks, even older stuff like VHSs. Um, yeah, let me know about that. Anyway, so I've got so much stuff to show off. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one before I forget. This is a, uh, I don't know what this is actually, but this is uh, something to do with Pokemon Heroes, and this was actually given to me by a fan. Favio, thank you so much for sending this to me. You didn't have to, um, but I like this a lot. It's it's really awesome. This is, uh, I mean, I love Pokemon Heroes. It's my favorite Pokemon movie, so... Fabio, thank you so much for sending this to me. And if anyone wants to send anything to me in the future, uh, send me an email and I'll give you my address. I don't know where to put this pile of stuff once I'm done with it. Uh, <laughs> there's so much stuff here. Uh, anyway, um, mm, okay, toss it over there. I'm just going to go top down. How about that? Uh, I picked up two new issues of PSM this this uh, month, this, uh, this video. So, um... Yeah, this actually is pretty awesome. This is issue number three. The earlier issues of PSM are super hard to get and they're super expensive when you do find them. But I found this on Facebook Marketplace for, if you can believe it, only 10 bucks. So um, yeah, I, I have PSM issue one. Now I got issue three, two of the earliest issues to the hardest ones to get and I'm happy to have it. Uh, I also got this issue, which is number nine. Um, and I just love collecting PSM. I, I don't know what it is. I didn't even know PSM even existed until just a, uh, a year or so ago, but I've loved collecting these. I, I love the PlayStation 1, and I love seeing all the promotions for the PS1. I really hope that didn't hurt those. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I, uh, I, I got those for cheap and happy to add them to my PSM collection. I collect PSM and Nintendo Power, and uh, it's slow going for both of them, um, but that's perfectly okay. Um, let's see, I, I got this controller here, this uh, PS2 transparent blue controller, and if it looks dusty, it's only because it's been out in, in my pile of stuff for the last few months. Anyway, um, so I got this controller. I, uh, I went to a uh, pawn shop, in town for the first time and they didn't have anything video game related except this and they were selling this for like a buck or something like that and I figure hey for a buck I'm gonna buy it so I did and uh, yeah <laughs> anyway um and I got so much stuff here most of this is actually from the same source so I'm just going to go ahead and show it off so as usual um, as I've explained so many times I work for East Asia soft I stream for them three times a week on their twitch channel link there so um, as part of my payment, they send me free copies of physical games and they've sent me so many th these last six months, they've just been piling up. Um, so I believe we have five, six, uh, looks like six Switch games and three PS5 games. As well as that, they also sent me these two games from uh, VGYN, or VGNY Soft, which is, um, let's see, uh, Demon, Demoniaca, Everlasting Night, and Crisis Wing. So, uh, VGNY is, uh, stands for Video Games New York, and they have a uh, limited print publishing business. Man, I'm getting some horrible, horrible glare on there. There we go. Anyway, so these are actually EAS games, but they're published by, or, or they're distributed, I guess, by uh, VGNY, 
and uh, so they just sent them to me. I didn't even ask for these. They just threw them in as freebies, which, hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> there. Uh, anyway, so we got a whole ton of Switch games and PS5 games, as I said. So I'm just going to go ahead and show them off one by one. I don't think they're in any particular order. So we got Sea Horizon, which is number 29. So you can see there, uh, these are all, um, these all have their, um, <laughs> they're, they're a numerical order, right? Uh, and I got number 12. And I'm going to go through these a little faster than this. Um, Red Colony Trilogy here. I got number 13. <laughs> That's kind of a risque picture, isn't it? Uh, Sword and Fairy N2. I actually like this one a lot. This is a uh, restaurant simulator, a uh, hotel restaurant simulator. Uh, it's really, really fun. And I got number 14. I actually do have a few uh, limited prints that are unnumbered because they're sample copies, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, Mujin Souls Z, which is a sequel to Mujin Souls. And this is number 15. Uh, let's see, we got The Bridge Curse, Road to Salvation, and this one is number 12 as well. Bridge Curse is a horror game, which I almost 100%ed, but the last dungeon just took it out of me. Anyway, uh, Senses, Midnight, and this is number 29, and I really hope that the sound of the plastic rubbing against my finger isn't too bad. And now we get to the three PS5 games I got, and uh, thanks to these, I continue to have a complete PS5 collection and a complete Switch collection. Anyway, so we got um, Reverie Sweet As Edition, which is a super, super fun game. Uh, and this one is number eight. Uh, we got, and then we got two other games that were already on Switch. So we got Senses Midnight again, and this one is number 15. And we got the Bridge Curse Road to Salvation again. And this one is number six. How many games was that? That was like a dozen games. Thanks EAS for continuing to uh, to uh, let me work for you and for continuing to send me these games. And now I got stuff that's a bit more manageable. How do I want to rearrange this? Um, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show off another limited print game that I got the, um, this this month, this past six months. So uh, I did get a game from Limited Run Games. We got Castlevania Advance Collection, and I went with this cover because I liked it the most out of the ones that they offered. Um, I don't usually buy games from LRG anymore. They just they have too many, and I have to be really selective with what I get. But it's Castlevania, and I knew I would like it, so I, I got it. And they uh, included this little card, which is pretty cool. There's a, a coupon code on the back to get 5% off whenever I order from them next, and I'm not sure when that'll be, but anyway. So Castlevania Advance, very happy to have that. And I know I say I'm very happy to have that. Sorry, it's a habit. I, I say it so often. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and show this off, actually. This is a brand new game for the Game Boy Advance. This is called... Alice Sisters, and I found out about this from a uh, homebrew developer who I uh, who I happened across on Twitter, and I checked out their store, and I saw, hey, this game is about to come out, and I was like, you know what? I would love to buy a brand new game for the Game Boy Advance. So I did. It showed up. It plays perfectly. It's it's a super fun little platformer. You can see on the back here uh, a screenshot of, of what it looks like, so that should give you a bit of an idea. Anyway, so yeah, a brand new game for the Game Boy Advance. Um, so um, I just really, really enjoyed this. Um, Orion Soft is the name of the publisher. If you want to go check them out, I'll leave a link in the description to check out all their games. Yeah, um, I'm very happy to support these new developers of new games. And that was that was really fun doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, we did get a brand new Switch game in the last six months, Detective Pikachu Returns. And as you can see, this is still shrink wrapped. I haven't even opened it up yet. Basically, I picked this up from Best Buy on release day and I threw it in my pile of pickups and I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. So, uh, now that I've shown it off in a video, maybe I could check it out. It's very important for me to get every single Pokemon game day one, just so I don't fall behind. Um, we're actually almost done, finally. So I uh, picked up this copy of Final Fantasy XII for the Xbox One. 
I ordered a few things off Amazon and I came up short of the shipping of the free shipping limit. So if you're not a Prime member, you need to buy $35 worth of stuff in order to get free shipping. And I was sitting at like 30 or $29 or something like that. So it actually made financial sense for me to just throw in a five or $10 item to get the free shipping rather than pay the five or $10 of shipping, right? So I was browsing through their games. So I was like, okay, what am I missing? What's cheap that I, that I know I'm gonna want? And I got this. <laughs> um, it was a Final Fantasy game that I did not own yet, or at least I didn't own the Xbox One port of FF12, so yay. At least it was cheap. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I went to uh, several places actually in the last six months, but I went to San Antonio for a uh, movie premiere for a documentary that I'm in. And uh, while I was down there, I did some hunting and uh, I already showed off the Pokemon cards I got, but I also found a game that I needed. This is Minecraft um, Story Mode for the Wii U. And uh, thanks to getting this, I am down to missing only, it's either 25 or 24 games total for the Wii U. I'm really close to getting a complete set. I have Devil's Third, I have the Crudes, I have most of the heavy hitters. I think the biggest one I'm missing is Turbo and the second biggest one is uh, Book of Unwritten Tales. But I have most of the games, so I'm really, really close to finishing up the collection. Although, you see all those boxes behind me, uh, I don't have a way of displaying it, so it hasn't really been a, a priority. Hopefully when I get a house, I'll be able to display my collection and it'll be a constant reminder, hey, you're close. Prioritize getting these games. But at least now I was able to get one, and it's it, it's even better that I was able to find this out in the wild without having to go to eBay. Which is, I always prefer getting my games in the wild in person whenever I can. Uh, and then I went to Denver, actually I went to Denver first, for a, uh, actually no, 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 I'm going to show this off. <laughs> so this is a sticker from My Life in Gaming. And the story behind this is um, I needed some blank VHS tapes for a project I'm working on. Uh, hopefully that project will be, uh, the video for that project will be posted before the end of the year. And I was posting in the My Life and Gaming server asking if anyone knew where to find, uh, where to source blank VHS tapes. And Corey, who runs the My Life and Gaming channel along with Try, sent me a message saying, hey, I got some, how many do you need? So. Uh, Corey sent me a full box of blank VHS tapes and included this little sticker. So thank you, Corey, so much for this. Uh, thank you for the tapes. <laughs> I got to find a really nice place to stick this. Uh, okay, I went to Denver. Let's go back to that. I went to Collecticon, and the only reason I went was to get Patricia Somerset's autograph of my copy, Breath of the Wild. There it is. <laughs> So uh, yeah, she's a, a tremendous uh, lady. It was great talking with her. I actually got there super early. There was like no one in her line. I got to chat with her for like 15 minutes about stuff. Uh, anyway, so she did sign my personal copy of Breath of the Wild. Thank you, Patricia, for that. And while I was there, I made a video about this, but I have to show it off anyway. I did get, I did drop off a video game to get graded with WADA. It was Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate for PS5. And as, as you guys know, I did get the 9.8A rating on it. A lot of people were commenting on the video. I got super lucky with it because not only is there a little little hole there on the uh, top of the shrink wrap, but also the cover's just the tiniest bit misaligned. I got super lucky with this grade. Um, anyway, so even though I Ray made a video on it, it was technically a pickup, so I have to show that off. Speaking of, should have been a little more prepared for this part. Um, I got the Analog Duo, and I made a full video on me unboxing this, which got a lot of flack, and I don't really know why. All I did, literally all I did was open it up and try it out, and the one thing, the EverDrive, didn't work for it. That's the only real problem with it, but everyone in the comments was being really mean to me, like, you just need to update the firmware, or you should have read the reviews first, or, uh, you know, it's your fault for expecting an EverDrive to work. It's not even a real game. I don't get it. I, I don't get the hatred. Still waiting on the thing to update so that I can use the EverDrive with it. It has yet to. Of 
course, I picked up the uh, controller, the 8 bit though controller, to go along with it. There's the box. Um, anyway, kind of a sour note to end on that I got a brand new system I can't even use. Hopefully, hopefully I can figure out a workaround. Hopefully, it gets a jailbreak sometime, or they just at least patch it so that an EverDrive will work like they promised it would. Um, at the very least, I do have a real PC Engine game on the way to me in the mail. I could have waited to make this video until after it arrived, but that's literally the only game that I'm expecting until March, so uh, it didn't really seem worth it. And in any case, this video is already long enough as it is, what, 15 minutes plus? So, um, so that's where we're going to end it. Um, <laughs> I got so much, no, 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 no. I got so much more to show off. <laughs> it wouldn't fit on the table, so I forgot. Boy, am I glad I glanced that direction. Hang on. We got some new Amiibos. <laughs> we got uh, two for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, of course, we got uh, Zelda and Ganondorf, and these are absolutely beautiful. I especially love Zelda's Amiibo. Uh, I love the pose. I love the colors, and man, just Amiibo, am I right? Uh, yes, I continue to own a complete Amiibo collection. So we got the new Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo, and we got the... Um, the, the new Splatoon 3 Amiibo. They're not off the hook. What are their names? Anyway, so we got um, Shiver and Fry. You can see there. Not really much to say about them. And then we got Big Man in the big Amiibo box. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is huge. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to fit this on my shelf when I take it out of the box. But that's for future me to worry about. And now for realsies, I'm done. <laughs> that was a close call. Um, so now we're up over 17 minutes in the video. Anyway, so that'll do it for now. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what video games you picked up recently. Um, maybe you'll get something for Christmas. Who knows? And um, I don't know what my favorite thing is that I got. I got a whole pile of uh, games from East Asia Soft. I got a graded copy of FF7R got video game magazines, I got a uh, <laughs> new Amiibo, uh, a signed copy of Tears of, the, uh, of Breath of the Wild might be my favorite thing that I got this video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you got and that'll do it for now. I'm not sure when the next one of these is going to happen. Probably not until next June, honestly. So hey, but if you guys want to see movies that I pick up, let me know as well. That, that'll do it for now, for reals this time, okay. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more.